You don't know me, but I know you. I want to play a game. So, what we have here are the beautiful plants per the usual, and today we are going to water them to keep them looking beautiful. So we can keep saying as usual. I'm watering my peace lily. I'm watering the pothos. I should have probably watered the pothos so that the water would drop into the peace lily, but yeah. Everything is clear in hindsight. Of course, I water all of my carnivorous plants with distilled water. And they're looking pretty dry right now, so let's fix that. And that brings us to prism. Looking very vibrant, looking very healthy. If you don't know, today I'm going to show y'all how to take a canister filter and turbocharge it. So that you can use it more effectively or more importantly on the ground, not needing gravity to help you. So, without further ado, let's get over to Petco real quick and yeah, we'll try to do this pretty fast. So we'll be working with the Fluval 107 canister filter. I love all of Fluval's products, um, but more importantly, I love all the canister filters. I am biased. I love canister filters more than any other filter. Second to that will probably be a sponge filter, and then you could just put hang on the back filters at the bottom of my list. I'm not a fan of them at all. First thing, take this gray fitting or this coupler off of this piece right here. You're going to need this for the turbocharger. In this case, I'm using the Vivo Sun 60 watt submersible pump, but you can use anything that's similar to it. I'm, I have a brand bias, I can't help it. If you do it my way, everything that you're gonna need for this is either gonna be inside the Fluval packaging or it's gonna be inside the Vivo Sun packaging. You won't need to go out and buy anything else. Everything fits together. Moving left to right, we got the actual housing for the canister along with the pre-filters. And then we got the actual racks that are going to hold our media and then hold some of our sponges. Well, two of our sponges. And then we have the nozzles. We have the motor head, the power head. And then we have the attachment for the power head to the hosing. And that's everything that comes inside the box. Like I said, you do not need to go out and buy anything else. Now, before we move on to everything else, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to grab the power head or the motor head, whatever you want to call it. And you're going to need to locate this spot because what we need to do is put the gasket in before we actually use the filter. The gasket is going to be inside that plastic packaging and it's going to look like four circles, but it's really just one ring. You can read the instructions, but I'm going to tell you it's as simple as taking the gasket out and putting it onto the power head. From there, you're going to take this piece, forgot what it's called right now, but you're going to take this and you're going to put it onto the motor head. Um, and then this is going to be the piece that actually connects to the hoses. So like I said, we are not going to need these inlet connectors at all. We're going to replace this with our turbocharger, so get rid of this. So now that we have all the pieces that we need, we're going to take the turbocharger and attach it to the inlet portion of the motor head. And doing it like this, you won't need gravity to fill up your canister filter. You'll actually use the pump to pump all the water that you need to into the canister. And then from there, it's enough force to where it'll drive it out of the outlet. Aside from putting the turbocharger where it needs to be, we also need to fill up these trays with our media. Now, unfortunately, the canister filter doesn't come with media like other filters do. Um, but lucky for me, I have some already lying around, so we're just going to use that. We're gonna to try to put as much media into this tray as possible. So with that, we're gonna put it in here relatively neat. Um, but even with as much media as you can see inside this flower pot that I have, uh, it's not enough. With that, before even putting it back, you're gonna make sure that the top can still fit on top of the tray so that you can put it back in the canister and so that the motor housing can fit properly. Make sure that everything's fitting correctly into the canister housing. And then from there, you're gonna put the motor head on, making sure that it's tight and securely. You do not want water to leak back out of this canister, especially with this high flow rate on the pump. We're going to situate it in the back of the tent like this. Now, while I'm putting the hosing on, the reason why I chose the 107 opposed to the larger canisters is just because of where the ducts are. On. Because of this canister's small profile, it allows me to have much more hose to use within the actual tent. So after feeding it through, we're going to make sure that we attach it to the turbocharger. And then from here, we have to make sure that everything's seated and that there are no leaks. Otherwise, there will be water flying around all of the tent. 
Again, make sure that everything is situated correctly so that you do not get water all over the place. We're gonna use this brace right here so we can connect it to the water reservoir so it can be seated or situated in a way where water won't splash aggressively. First thing, take it apart. And then I would also suggest that you already have the outlet connected to some degree. And this is what I've done. So I would suggest you do this, but you don't have to. From here, this is where we take the actual elbow joint and put it onto the hose so that it can be secured right there into the water reservoir. And boom, there we got it. So now it's just about situating this. And the best part about this is that you can pull the hose more through without having to take it apart. Now with everything situated as it should be, we are going to plug in the pump. Do not plug in the canister. You don't need to plug in the canister. You can, but all it's gonna do is just create a whole bunch of rattling. The pump is so much stronger than the canister's motor that it will drive the entire system. From here, you see we have a much, much stronger water flow. The water surface is being agitated a little bit too aggressively. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna situate this outlet so that it is more in the water. I mean, pushing water for it rather than splashing water all around in the tent. And that's basically it, everybody. That is how you turbocharge your canister filter and or use your canister filter on the ground without using gravity. In the next video, we'll have the temporary filter out of here and I'll show you the new changes that we have to the tent. If you like videos like this and you wanna see more of them, please like and subscribe. My name is Rice and... You don't know me, but I know you. I wanna play again.